Greetings, Mavuno. My name is Moredi Wanjao, or Pastor M. I'm the senior pastor of the Mavuno Movement of Churches. I'm so, so glad that you're worshiping with us uh, today. And I want to just uh, share a few thoughts on an exciting journey that we're embarking on as a church, uh, even as we prepare our, our hearts to hear God's word and also to give uh, in worship of God. And I've been talking about some of the exciting things that we are looking forward to in the year 2022. Uh, we are trusting God that we'll be able to completely pay off uh, the debt uh, for the, uh, of our movement uh, headquarters, uh, Hill City Campus, which is based in Nairobi, Kenya. We want to completely pay off that debt as a community uh, in 2022. And we're calling it Free the Future. So if you'd like to hear more, you can go on our website, www.mavunochurch.org and just click on the link Free the Future and there's a whole lot of stuff uh, there to help you understand the journey God is leading us on to. But today, I want to just share briefly about something, a question that's come up uh, for, uh, for some people. What is the difference between our tithes and also our fast food offering. What's the difference between those two things? So I'm going to talk about the tithe first. The tithe means 10%. Uh, God expected the Israelites to give 10% of all their income back to, uh, to his work. We talked about that a couple of months ago when we did our vaccinate uh, the, the, uh, our money uh, um, summon series. Uh, Moses taught the Israelites in Leviticus chapter 27 verse 30 that a tithe of everything, a tenth of everything, from the land, whether grain or from the soil or fruit from the trees belongs to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord. The tithe was a reminder that everything the Israelites had came from and belonged to God. It was seen as holy or set apart. It belonged to God. Sort of like it was so serious that if you didn't give it, it actually was seen as robbing God, taking something that rightfully belonged to God. We see this in Malachi chapter 3 verse 8 where God accuses the Israelites and calls them robbers for taking what belongs to him his tithe. And what basically happened, it was like a tax, like the way the government taxes you. And for the Israelites, they paid their tithes, but in return, God promised them acceleration and also protection of their investments. Now, on the other hand, fast fruits, a little different, was when the Israelites brought the first yield of their harvest every year from their farms uh, to God's work. And King Solomon wrote in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 9, honor the Lord with your wealth and with the fast fruits of all your produce. Now, a major difference between the two is that unlike the tithe, the fast fruits was a voluntary offering. Uh, it was not something that was oblig obligatory for the Israelites. It was something that was done out of a free will. They came to God in thanksgiving, acknowledging him as their source and their provider. When you give a fast fruit offering, it's a celebration of all that God has done for you, but also an anticipation of all that God is going to do. And it's an honor. It's a way that you're honoring God as your source and your provider. And Proverbs chapter 3 verse 10 gives a promise. Just like the tithe had a promise, the fast fruit has a promise. It says, then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. Now, as a church family, the way we run this uh, ministry has always been through our tithes and our offerings. Those who call this their home church every year, we've always uh, given and through that we've been able to pay salaries, plant churches, bless our community, send out missionaries and generally run the operations of this church. Uh, in 2022, we want to ask uh, that you would do an extra thing over and above our tithes and our offerings. We want to challenge every one of you to give a fast fruit uh, gift equivalent to one month's income over and above your tithe. And this will help us pay off our mortgage. But in addition to that, we hope that every year as we do this, because we really sense that God is challenging us to a new level of generosity, that as we do this, we'll be able to purchase land and put up buildings for every single one of our campuses that we call Mavuno. Now, I'm excited already at the testimonies that people are sharing as we step out in faith. Please feel free to ask, uh, to write us if you have a testimony or just a question you want to uh, ask at info, uh, info at mavunochurch.org. Uh, send us any questions. We'd love to answer them. Next week, I'm going to be talking about these Old Testament practices and how they apply in the New Testament because that's another question that's come up. But I want to just pray for us now as we prepare our hearts to receive God's word from Pastor James uh, talking about this great season that we are in the season of Christmas. Father, I thank you for your people. And I just speak a blessing over us, uh, even as we come to give our tithes and our offerings. I pray that Lord Jesus, you would uh, increase our faith. Lord, you bless us in every way that we'll be able to be uh, increasingly generous. I really sense that this is a season you're calling us to step up in our faith, to grow in our faith, to grow in our generosity, to grow in every single way. And I pray for every family here. I know that there are some families that have faced some difficult, difficult times in this season. I pray for your courage and your encouragement. I pray that, Lord Jesus, we would test you, would step out in faith. And as we do that, we would find that you are God who is faithful. And so I speak a blessing now. I pray that, Lord, open our hearts even as we receive your word now. 
that we'll be able to understand everything you have for us. For we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.